Yo, another dive light review. This time it's the Orca Torch D570GL. This underwater flashlight has a 1000 lumen light beam and a green laser pointer. Check the video description below for a link to the Amazon product page sold by Outdoor Equipment Expert. Also, this link has a 5% discount checkbox. This video has four chapters. Chapter one is this intro. Chapter two is unboxing. Chapter three is underwater testing. And chapter four is a review summary. So if you just wanna see the underwater testing, skip ahead to chapter three. Let's go. I'm unboxing the Orca Torch D570 GL flashlight underwater flashlight I love popping these things Orca torch charging cable battery charger two batteries wrist strap, extra o-rings, and flashlight. Let's put one of the batteries in. Solid. Laser. Nice. Double click to get the light on. Double click, turn it off. On, off. Press and hold to get the laser. All right. When the dive light is on, there is a battery indicator on the laser button. Green means it's over 70% battery. Orange is 30 to 70%. Red is 10 to 30%. And if it's flashing red, less than 10% battery left. The dimensions for the flashlight, 40 millimeters diameter for the head and 26 millimeter diameter for the tail and 134 millimeters long. Here are the technical specifications for the flashlight, and this um, is a screenshot from the Orca Torch website. Um, uh, light output, 1,000 lumens, runtime, 1 hour and 51 minutes, beam distance, 281. Uh, I assume that's meters, but the website doesn't list meters, but 281 meters on land. Intensity, um, 19,800 candle power, impact resistance one meter, waterproof uh, to 150 meters, working voltage three to 4.2 volts. Dimensions, we went over that already. Weight, 176 grams. Accessories, and there's a mistake here. One 18650 lithium ion battery, there's two. If you remember from the unboxing video, there are two batteries in there. So Orca Torch is selling itself short there. Um, a charger, a lanyard, and O-rings. I call This is the technical specification um, that is on the Amazon web store. And it's basically the same. Uh, 
the beam distance. They forgot to add meters there, um, just like the website. And in this case, the accessories, they have two batteries listed. Um, so they got that right. And um, there's no Orca sticker in there. Yo, I'm here at Wakaiwa Springs State Park, and we're going to test out a flashlight underwater by shining it into the dark parts of the bottom of uh, the Wakaiwa Springs head spring. Let's go. construction is solid and there were no leaks. Um, the 1000 lumen beam lit up the dark areas of the caves underwater. Uh, and let's talk about the laser pointer. As you can see in the video, it wasn't really visible when the flashlight beam was on. And when the flashlight beam was not on, you could see the laser beam, but you could not see whatever it was hitting because it wasn't illuminated. So I think for free diving, the laser pointer is, well, pointless. However, if you were using the laser pointer in a scuba environment, uh, I could see it being useful to signal your dive buddy or to point something out uh, a long distance away that might be um, partially or naturally illuminated. <laughs> 